Hello, welcome back to Digital Product Profit Secrets. You're with Jeff Smith from HireTrustMarketing.com and InfomarketerZone.com. In today's edition, in today's lesson, we're going to dig into the, the, the actual creation and launching of your product. It's going to be a really exciting lesson. This is what you're in this course to learn, after all, because this is what's going to bring you in that kind of income and seed yourself in the marketplace and brand you and start to raise your profile in the industry. This is a really exciting part. And I think what's gonna, what's gonna strike you is that this is probably the easiest part. In your head when you started this lesson, be honest, you probably thought that creating the product was gonna be the toughest part. Well, and in fact, it often ends up to be the easiest part. And we'll, we'll explain why we say that. But just going back uh, quickly to what we've learned in lesson one, we learned about the size of the market and what the market really looks like and what it means to be a digital product entrepreneur. From an insider's perspective, and we talked about some of our products and how long we've been in this and how we've built our business and how we've helped other people build the business. And then in the second lesson, we, we learned all there is to learn about finding your product idea and how to match that to you and launch your digital product business in a way that's going to be commercially successful, in a way that you can mix your passion and interest with the commercial value and the demand and desire from your marketplace that you need to have to be able to do this business effectively and make it fun and exciting and growth and give it momentum so that it grows. That's what we talked about in lesson two, some really important lessons there. If you guys haven't listened to that, then um, head to the below this video and you'll see the links to those because it's really important that you listen to those to get a full uh, perspective on what it's like to do this business. But on to today's lesson where we're going to learn product creation. I'm going to start with sort of sharing with you the three keys and then we're going to delve into exactly how you create those products. So the first key, and these, when I talk about keys, I'm talking about the things that are going to make the difference between you struggling in this business or not getting, not even having, um, being able to get to the end and launch your product, but also struggling once you do launch your product. And uh, the difference between that and really being, you know, growing something that's special, growing something that is huge, it's really going to help people and it's really going to drive momentum and help you build a big business with with not a huge amount of effort. You know, a lot of people, if you don't follow these keys, if you're missing even one of these keys, then what happens is you end up with a product that you end up spending tons and tons of time. You bang your head against the wall. You make a few sales a month. Maybe you have a good month. You bring in $1,000, but then the next month it's 200 and 300 and you're limping along, not selling a lot of products. Nobody wants that kind of business. What you want is you want a business where you launch the product and immediately gets publicity and attraction and interest and that it keeps building over time. You build partnerships, you build a sales channel, you end up building more sales around this, you get testimonials, gives you more credibility, get your name out there, and it just becomes this snowball driving down the, the hill um, in terms of your profits, and you're not having to spend a tremendous amount of time banging your head against the wall. That's the kind of business we, um, we have built, and that's the kind of business we want you to build. It's much more rewarding, much more fun. It scales higher. You can build an enterprise around it and really take it big. So the first key we're going to talk about is, is how you need to be focused around transformation and outcomes for people. So many people make the mistake when they create their information product that they're, they think that they're actually selling information or that they're teaching people or that they're just um, you know, telling people what to do rather than how to do it. And really, that's that's furthest from the truth. What really makes the big difference is when you focus on a highly desired outcome and then you help people through the transformation in their minds, in their life, around where they are today and where they want to be. So you change, you know, for example, you could change people from being stressed to being anxious, uh, stressed and anxious to being calm and natural. And it, by the way, um, changing states is one thing, but then changing the desired outcome. So a lot of people also make this mistake that they're they're not focused on why is it that people want to go from stressed and anxious to calm and natural? Is it that they're struggling in a relationship where they know they're stressed out? Is it that they um, uh, are having health issues because of that stress and anxiety? Um, is it because they feel like they can't share their true selves? You know, Focus on the desired outcome of why people want to overcome being stressed or why they want to lose weight or why they want to um, become a better parent. It's, 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 never, um, uh, it's never the actual transformation itself that people want. It's the end result of why they want the transformation. So they know they need to become less stressed and anxious and they need to be more calm and natural. But why? What is it they're focusing on that? What is it they want in life? What is the desired outcome 
of, of um, going through that transformation. Okay, so transform from making a few sales to having a full pipeline with five, these are just other examples, having a full pipeline with five times more sales, right? That's a concrete result. They want, they want to improve their sales results, their sales outcomes, and so they want to go from having, and they know that, you know, filling up their pipeline or lead pipeline is what they need to do. So go from, you know, generating um, fewer sales to five times more sales. Another example, move from having belly fat to reducing weight size by four inches in 30 days, right? So it's not, notice I'm not saying they want to lose weight. That is what they want to do. But what they have in their mind is they got this fat hanging over their belt and they want to lose that four inches or, or they notice they went in and bought jeans and they notice their four size is bigger than what they, they were in their 20s. And so what they really want to do is lose that four inches. And, and that means losing belly fat, which means losing weight, right? So you've got to cater to what is the end result. And here's another one. Discover a way to get control of your teenage son so he listens and improves his life, reducing the stress on your life, right? So your kid's causing you stress. Your kid's causing you personal anxiety and frustration. Your kid is causing you embarrassment in front of other people. And so you need to overcome that. And that means getting control of your teenage son, okay? So focus on the transformation and focus on the desired end result and the transformation that it's going to take to get them to that desired end result. And another key is to make it your technology, your system, your method, your solution, right? So when we talked about in the last lesson about finding um, niche markets, finding niche demand, and then identifying sort of the approaches that com competitors have taken to solving the problem, we also talked about finding gaps, finding ways that you can solve the problem yourself, Right? And that's going to lead to your particular solution system. Now, here's an example I pulled out of one of our products. Um, we created this guidebook for people changing their lives. and It was called the SNAP system for getting unstuck in their life. It targets people who are stuck, who are stuck in a rut or a board or procrastination or just can't seem to get things moving. And so we, we have a lot of experience in this area. And we created this product around a, a solution system that we labeled SNAP. And SNAP stands for set the stage, mind and body. That means get, the, get in the right mindset. And then the next set of uh, steps you take are never doubt, never fear. And it's really all about overcoming personal doubt and fear in their life. And then we go to A, which is sort of stands for action. And that's how to get into new action-oriented habits and get out of being stuck. And then finally, P is to pattern those new behaviors, those new learnings that we learned in SNA, SNA into new habits that become natural new habits in your life over time. It takes 30 to 60 days. And so that becomes my technology, my branded SNAP system for getting unstuck in their life. Now within each of those, there are multiple chapters and multiple steps, but we labeled the system ours and it really does follow a pattern that we had designed. So what I recommend you do here is you, you figure out what your solution system is. And don't worry about labeling it. Don't worry about coming up with fancy names at the first. But get, get your system down in terms of how you outline your product. I'll talk a bit more about that in just a minute. And then find out how you can label that. You know, you might have to tweak some of the, the names you give it. You may have to tweak some of the um, uh, uh, labels you give to it or come up with a higher level label. Putting it, But putting a name to it is actually easy. Um, wait until you've actually got the system created and then give it a name. But it is important. It's very important that you label it and you make it your technology so you differentiate yourself in the market. And you give yourself, you know, the SNAP system can now be taken into coaching systems and seminars and, and different um, formats and different learnings and different teaching methods that we can go upscale in the market. And we have that branded name that can take it through the whole thing. And then finally, the third key we're going to talk about here is how to structure your product and not just, it's, it's to the point we talked about earlier, where it's not just informing or educating or teaching, it's about a course and a step-by-step -step method. So major steps then in your transform, in how you help people transform their lives and get to where they wanna be, the major steps become the chapters, the modules, the lessons, depends on whether you're doing a video course, you're doing um, sort of an audio program or whether you're doing an ebook or a written product, so the key understandings and actions needed to bring about the desired outcome become your major milestones and they become your chapters, modules, lessons on the step-by-step -step course. Now, this is really important, okay? It's really important that you structure your course 
as a usable consumable product because why is that? Well, it can be validated. It can be something that people say they used and got results at the end. It can be something that is testable. It's something that is perceived as a very high value because it's it's actually I'm going to bring about a result rather than just information. Okay, so that this is all setting you up so that you can offer a range of you know products from 47 to 197 to a thousand dollars because you've structured your program and your information this way. So now within each chapter or each milestone, um, there are answers to a series of questions. Okay, and we'll go over some examples of this, and I want to actually dig in specifically. So. Um, let's just say, for example, we create a product where the desired end result is to lose that waist, that four inches off your waist size. So it's a program that's 30 days to reducing your waist size for four, by four inches. Okay, so I just did this in, in 10 minutes. Okay, it did a, a quick outline. Module one or chapter one, depending on what type of product, product you're creating, you could start with belly fat explained. Why do you have it? Why do you have belly fat? Okay, that's your that's one step on the transformation. You need to understand why it's there, and you're setting them up for solutions down the road. Okay, so that's further break, broken down into a series of say eight to ten questions, which becomes the content. You answer these questions, and you've developed your product, right? So in that chapter, in that section, in that module, you would have what are the two types of belly fat? What are the four causes of belly fat? What is the number one cause of belly fat in men? And then you can you just explain it. What's the scientific reason for belly fat? You would have these sorts of questions. These are natural questions you can imagine someone's going to have when they want to understand, you know, what belly fat's all about. Now, these are things you can go in. Some of them you may know the answer right away. Some of it you may have to go research, but it's an easy piece of research. When you're answering a question, when you when you structure your product into a series of questions, it's the absolute simplest um, easiest way to structure outline. Why? Because think about what you do every day. You answer hundreds of thousands of questions every day. Okay, we answer, someone asks you a question, you give them a piece of advice. Um, you have a decision to make. You ask yourself a question, which way am I going to go to work, this way or this way? It, your mind is used to being structured, answering questions. It's the, it's the way it most optimally operates. And so if you structure your outline in terms of a series of questions, it just goes to figure that your mind's going to go to work so much simpler. Imagine that compared to sitting down with a topic and sitting and looking at a blank page and figuring out how am I going to write this, which is what most people do. And it's an insane way to work. No wonder people go crazy as writers. You know, if you're having to say at this blank page and just trail, you know, just um, come up with things to write about, first of all, it's going to be tremendously difficult. You're going to have writer's block. You're going to have creator's block. You're going to stress over it. You're going to have many, many, many false starts. You're going to be throwing things away because it's, and even if you get the product done, it's going to be horrible because you're just, you're, there's no structure to it. And so outlining is the absolute key. If you take one thing away from this course, it's, it's on learning these couple of minutes on how to outline your product. It's critical. It's also what we spend a lot of time on inside infomarketerzone.com. So if you guys are ready to fast track and you want to get your product created, head over to infomarketerzone.com. Everything is over there from start to finish. A lot more examples, a lot of tools. You'll find templates to follow and you will get one-on-one -on -one help from us as you work through these things like finding your market and deciding on a topic and deciding on a title and deciding on how uh, you can only address that and what your differentiation is going to be as well as how you outline your product just like this. Okay, so once you have this outline, it's going to be so much easier. So um, carrying on to chapter two or module two of a course, um, the second thing you might want to know about is repairing your toxic system to flush the fat. So here you're starting down the process of helping them reduce that four inches. Well, part of that's going to be maybe exercise, part of it's going to be diet, but also part of it is just getting toxins out of your system, understanding why some of that weight is already in your system today. So then you would have a series of questions around toxins. So what toxins do you likely have in your body today? Again, the question, the answers to these are easily found uh, online, but your value is that you're structuring it all in a teaching step-by-step um, -step formula with proprietary technology that's going to help them get there. Um, so you would answer that question, what toxins do you have in your body? The second question might be, um, how do you get rid of parasites? Because, you know, 50% of people have parasites. Third question might be, how do you get rid of yeast in your system? Because again, 
50, 60% of people are, have yeast candida overgrowth in their digestive system, which leads to excess fat. And, and you know, might, the third thing might be, um, yes, yeah, so actually I'm, I'm skipping into module three here, three common digestive problems that lead to belly fat. And you'll find these in any sort of reading on digestive tract or, or GI, candida, yeast overgrowth, parasites, things like gallbladder problems. These are common things that people, uh, common reasons that people have fat today and then you, you know, see module four goes into exercise. If people are lethargic, what are the top four exercises that melt fat? And then module five, how to reduce stress that builds up belly fat because stress plays a role, a role as well. So what you've done now, I've outlined more than half of a product right here. You could take this outline and spend the next, call it 10 days, seven to 10 days and write up this product. And it would be among a top seller, I, I guarantee you, um, uh, day one, because I know there's huge demand for for that solving that specific waste belly fat problem, right? So that's what it's all about. It's um, you know, it's as simple as that, and it should take you no more than a day to outline your product. You know, in fact, if it's a product you 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 kind of know the market for, you could probably do it in an hour. Um, but a lot of people will have to go and do research on and maybe what some of those steps are. So let's talk about outsourcing for a minute, because um, there are some guidelines we use for outsourcing. Outsourcing can be uh, something you can do. And what I mean is going and finding ghostwriters or going and find course developers, researchers, you know, this sort of thing. Um, so that it takes some of the load off you when you're developing your product. Absolutely is something you can do, something we have done in some of our products, but there are some general guidelines. Never outsource your product objective uh, or your outline, okay? So what I mean by that is don't just say, I want to develop a product in weight loss and then throw it over the fence to some contractor and expect them to come up with a good product. You have to take responsibility for deciding on what the angle of your product is, specifically what the niche demand is. I would never give that to anyone. That's your secret sauce. That is the, that's what's going to make the difference whether your product sells or not. And then as you saw that outlining process that we went through, again, I, it's, it's really your secret sauce because it's, it's in the outline that you actually define the value of the product, the fact that it's step by step, the fact that it has your own technology, you really need to own that. Now, I recommend you also don't outsource either the majority or all of your content. I do, you know, we have never outsourced an entire product. What we will outsource is certain chapters. So let's say um, we had a, 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 or have a product that deals with yoga. It's actually a product that, that talks about um, achieving other things in life, but yoga is one of the techniques that allows you to get into the mind. It helps you get into the mind, um, uh, the, the stress-free zone and the mindset that you need for this other product. Now, we were not experts in yoga. So what we did is we outsourced that chapter. And we still, we had a series of 10 questions we wanted answered around yoga that we guided the development of that outsourcing project. Okay, so we still out, out, uh, outlined it. We still uh, gave them the detailed outline, the, the questions to solve, and then we um, had them outsource it. Now, you can outsource the research, and that's what I'm talking about here, is in, on the specific content creation. And you can and probably should outsource formatting, format changes, translations of products. You know, if you're, if you're translating a product from an ebook into an audio product or into PowerPoint slides for a video product, that sort of thing can easily be outsourced and probably should be because it's you know, in the end, it's going to cost you less to outsource it, to pay someone to do it than in time yourself. So let's talk about product formats a little bit because, you know, digital products, obviously you can have eBooks, you can have reports, you can have audios, video courses, membership sites, electronic newsletters, software. Um, those are all digital formats. And then of course, within, you know, videos, you can, you can uh, have video courses that are updated, uploaded to Teachable, Udemy, uh, or onto your own site. Then you got physical products. You got books, courses, reports, home study programs, uh, manuals, workbooks, seminars, those sorts of things. So ultimately, all of these are you're achieving the same thing. You're 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 defining a solution to bring about a highly desired outcome. No different. And what I highly recommend you do is that you create multiple formats for your products. So you may start off if if you're um, if you if you like to write the ebooks, which you know I, I suggest all of you start with an ebook. Um, you write the ebook, you can have that converted into audios, converted into video courses, converted easily into books uh, using a create space or, um, you know, posting the PDF to, uh, to a Smashwords or, or, or um, a create space who will then load it as a print on demand product that's available in Amazon or Barnes and Noble, et cetera. 
Um, you can uh, create physical reports from, obviously from digital reports, that's easy. Home study programs are really just taking a book and, and packaging that with an exercise booklet with a series of steps. Um, that can even link back to a, an online video, so you can have a combined physical home study manual or, or a binder that you ship, uh, exercise books, along with videos to follow. So mix them up, and you can turn, basically what I'm saying here is you can take what would be defined, what would be designed as a $27 ebook, um, and that you've spent a couple weeks on into a, a program that can be a mixture of physical and digital that may sell for $397 and gives you a middle of the range upgrade product that you can sell. Okay, so keep in mind, these formatting is very important part of mastering um, digital, you know, digital products. Okay, so your product outline then, it's not rocket science, it's simply an organized set of questions from high level milestones down to more detailed questions. Work backward from the desired outcome. So define the steps that you would need to achieve the transformation to get that desired outcome and each chapter module and lesson becomes a major milestone develop your unique value proposition to addressing the most pressing motivation and that really becomes maybe your set of steps or your approach your teaching method what makes your product different and what it makes it the way it's organized to be able to achieve that desired outcome Organize the questions around supporting the achievement of the milestones. So you have a set of sub-questions that we saw in that previous example in, in terms of um, applying and achieving that desired outcome. So here's another example. How to turn your teenage monster into a happy and healthy, productive person. Okay, again, it's, it's a desired outcome to have a better child, get over all of the uh, stress and anxiety you've been having with fighting with your teenager. So the milestones here might be you know, chapter one or section one, module one. Why is it that your teen rebels? So explain to them what's the science that's going into it. What's the science of the brain? What are why are they rebelling against you in the first place? And then number two, the second chapter, second module, second you know system might be why your teen has low self-esteem. Because in a lot of cases, when you've got a teenager and they're rebelling, it's it has it's tied in with self-esteem. How do you get your teen's attention would be another chapter without threatening them. So how do you get some attention from them? And maybe even how to earn your teen's respect would be a chapter that people would want to know. This is all stepping stones, major milestones on how to get control over your teenager and how to get them to, to how to get a relationship going with them really is what it is at the end of the day and how to turn them into a more productive person. And another chapter might be getting your teen to care about things. So, you know, it's it's that grunting and the, the fact that they don't care about anything. How do you get them to actually care about something? And why don't they? And what is it that they might want to care about? And then you might have another chapter or section or module, but how to communicate effectively with your teen. How do you open those lines of communication, right? And then, you, you know, et cetera, et cetera, until you have the major milestones. And what you need is sort of eight to 10 of those to have 120, 100, 120 page ebook or a two hour course or a manual with exercises that would be sell for 397 up to 997, depending on the on the competitiveness of it and the type of course that you want to prepare. Okay, so organize it into your own solution system so it becomes yours. So each of these steps that you take them through in terms of getting respect, getting them to care, getting them higher self-esteem, esteem, you come up with a label for that. It may be in an acronym, it may be um, uh, a set of a system that you just brand as your own. Um, you, you know, however you want to do it, but you need to name it and come up with that as your own technology because you're going to ultimately develop more products and teach around this. Okay, so example, breaking down your milestones, right? So milestones, why your teen, and this is, we're going to the next level of depth here. So instead of dealing at the chapter section module level, we're going in and asking questions. So we're just using one of these as an example. So why your teen rebels? Well, then you ask a series of questions around this. Does your teen actually hate you? They would wonder that, right? Any parent. What is impacting their brain causing them to behave the way they do? Does sleep have an impact on why your teen rebels? What about diet, sugar? Does that have anything to do with it? How do you respond when your teen rebels? These are all questions. How should you respond? These are questions that you that people are going to logically want answers to and they're struggling with in terms of why your teen rebels. 
Okay, so between eight to 12 questions is what you need. It'll result in enough content for 10 to 12 pages per section or chapter, or 10 minutes roughly of audio or video, you know, 10 to 15 minutes. And so again, you have eight to 10 of these and you've got yourself a really decent sized ebook, physical book, course, um, and then, you know, convert that into PowerPoint slides or just read it as audio, add value content into the audio and you've got yourself a two to three hour audio or video program. Okay, so breaking it down, answer five questions each day and you'll have a hundred page written or a two hour slide presentation video script in just under three weeks. Right. So that's you can easily do this. You can write a page, you know, worth of five questions, a page per question of answer in, say, an hour, a, a, an hour a day. Um, you can do that while you're working at a job you hate. Right. It gives you control back, gives you extra energy. Just the fact you're working on this, and you know, you're going to come out with an end product. Answer 10 questions, you know, ramp it up and answer some extras on the weekends or use your lunch breaks. Or maybe you don't have a job right now and you can put more time into it and you'll have your product finished in one to two weeks. Pretty impressive, right? It's not that hard. We've done this many, many times and trained other people to do the same. It's completely within the realm of possibility for you. It doesn't matter. You, you don't need to be a great writer. In fact, it's better if you aren't. The great writers are the ones that tend to not do very well at this. Um, so other product creation tips, start with one format, okay, written audio or video and have it converted and translated format into additional formats. Big secret here. I mean, if you have a written product to get it converted into an audio or video, it's going to cost you at the most a couple hundred dollars. It's not thousands. It's actually quite doable and quite reasonable when you figure that those products are going to go on to sell and you'll make your money back in the first three or four product sales of, of your audio or video course. So it's well within your reach again. Not a lot of money up front uh, can be done in usually a week to two weeks. You can get up on Freelancer, Odesk, the freelancing sites, and just make sure you you follow our advice over at Info Marketers on finding outsourcers because it's not as easy as it may seem. Um, but we give you a tip by uh, step by step system for finding them and uh, making sure they're going to be good for you. So you can you know here's some some examples. You these are. Examples taken right from our own business. So you turn eBooks into video courses. We've done this a number of times. All it really involves is either you yourself or outsourcing the creation of some PowerPoint slides or some uh, MacBook slides in, that take the highlights of each eBook chapter and put them into modules and um, have someone record that video course. You can record it yourself. Uh, you know, if you use a product like Camtasia or um, uh, Mac has their own screen capture um, video creation uh, program. And you create the video course yourself. That's the easiest way. Now, you can also outsource that for a couple hundred dollars and you'll get a voiceover artist that will create the video course for you. They'll read the slides and add some anecdotes, etc., add some images in, and they'll create their own video course. Now, that video course, you can then load on DVD, ship it as a physical product. You can put it up on Udemy and let them drive traffic to it and sell that for anywhere from say 27 to 97 dollars uh, you keep in those cases you keep about half the revenue and it's it's a no-brainer um, you keep more than that if you refer the traffic but if they refer the traffic then you keep uh, about half the revenue you can also turn a video course into an ebook if you prefer recording a video course right off the bat then you can have someone convert that into an ebook for again for a couple hundred dollars you can also turn audio interviews so if you prefer you know, going and interviewing for five or six experts in a particular field, you want to create your product that way, or you want to just record yourself um, talking the product, you can convert that into eBooks very inexpensively and then convert that into a course and have a video course um, and, or, and then convert the eBook into a, uh, into a uh, physical product using a product like CreateSpace and then you have a physical product to sell. Now, here's another cool thing, and we've worked with many people on this through InfoMarketerZone.com, is to turn a series of articles, blog posts, even social media posts into an ebook and then convert it into other formats. It's a very slick technique. So what some people, we, we've had bloggers come to us that have already had, say, um, six months of blogging content that they have, or people that have written articles or people that have done you know, extensive social media posting on Facebook. Um, or people that would rather start with a blog and blog for a month, create a set of posts around a book outline, even though people don't know when they're reading the blog that it's been designed that way. And then they package that into a book 
uh, beyond that. So they reuse the material that they've used in the blog. And what's cool about that is you use the blog to start to get some traffic and get some interest in your site. And then you convert your more valuable material, more valuable posts into a book. And you may still have to add a chapter here or there to introduce it or to, uh, to, to conclude it. But the majority of your development happens is double purpose, dual purpose uh, in terms of a blog post. So after you have your product created, what do you then want? What do you need to do to be able to get your product to market? Well, number one, you need to write a sales letter. So the focus there is on creating urgency by tapping into underlying motivation. You, you need to know why people are going to want your product and what benefits they're going to get and, and blend in your unique value proposition. Um, in addition to that, you're going to need uh, your, your questions that you generated as part of creating your product outline can then become the source of benefit bullets. Right? It's going to tell you, you just, you just reword them from questions into benefit bullets because it follows the, con it, it's, that's another very powerful reason to outline your book is you then have your sales page largely written, at least from a benefit perspective. Begin early to identify trial customers. So you should start this process, take 10 minutes a day and go up and find, you know, who has uh, authority blogs in your area, who is, has in a forum, who, who is writing um, content, who on social networking um, is sort of talking about, talking around your market segment. And then what you do is you reach out to contact, to contact them. And we have templates within Info Marketer Zone that will help you do this in, in terms of how you contact them and how you first get them on as a reviewer. Uh, and then how you convert them into partners so that when you launch, you've got a built in sort of five to 10 really strong partners that will um, offer your product to their large followings and can really boost your sales uh, on launch day. You need to decide on a payment processor. And this is pretty easy. You know, you either want to go with ClickBank if you've got some sort of an ebook or print product. You want to go with PayPal for um, as a secondary vendor for most types of payment uh, systems. You may want to go to twocheckout.com. They're an alternative for digital products. You want, may want your own merchant account. Uh, you can work through Amazon or create space, in, you know, if it's a physical product. Um, lots of different options here. And these are the main ones, but there are many others, Google Pay and uh, different checkout systems. Um, you'll find a lot more inside infomarketerzone.com on that as well, including a breakdown of sort of the fees and, and how you sign up to these things and how they all work. QuickBank can be an affiliate um, processor as well as a payment processor for you. So lots of different things to learn here, but it's, it's all pretty easy stuff. Decide on how you're going to manage affiliates. And affiliates are really just people that will want to promote your product for you for a commission. And you really want these guys because... You know, they'll continue to promote your product and it may cost you 30, 40, 50 percent even, but it's all just leverage sales. You know, they're bringing you in. If you sell a twenty seven dollar product, you know, you're going to roughly fifteen dollars on that product. They're going to promote it to their large audiences and bring you in sales like crazy. And ClickBank, eJunkie, One Shopping Cart, these are all platforms that can manage your affiliate uh, system for you. But also Udemy or Amazon, if you end up loading your courses or eBooks or physical books into these platforms, they will also manage affiliates for you. And then you need to just prepare a few ads and articles and graphics for affiliates to use. So if you sign affiliates up, they're gonna wanna promote and you wanna load them with some articles they can post in their blogs, graphics that they can post on their websites, etc. Then you wanna start the launch sequence. This is the really exciting part. It'll at least you know five, ideally 10 joint venture partners you want in your launch. You want to hold a webinar or launch a, a you know a series of two or three videos sequence to build momentum. You want to drive traffic and then get people excited about the product and predisposed to your product. And we call it a sales funnel. We talk a lot about that inside infomarketerzone.com as well. That's a very important part of the marketing side, probably the most important part actually. Um, the best advice is to build some early traffic. You know, use blogging, use podcasting, YouTube, social, um, you know, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, Twitter, Snapchat, um, you name it, and start to generate some early subscribers and momentum. You'd like to have in the neighborhood of 50 to 100 visits a day uh, generated, um, sorry about that, generated uh, as you launch because that will build momentum uh, towards your product. Okay, so here we go. And um, Begin with a limited time offer. So limit the bonus offerings, limit 
special pricing, maybe early mover advantage, uh, maybe only so many licenses sold at, at this price. This is going to entice people to move quickly and then build momentum quickly, use that to establish additional partnerships. So as you start to get some happy affiliates, leverage that and get some sales, you want to go to more partners and start getting them on board and then get ready for the dollars to flow because it really can be powerful. Okay, so that's it for today. That was a, you know, it's a lot of material to cover, uh, but we actually have covered a, a, a majority of it. You should be able to take this information and run with it today. You know, based on what you've been given here, it should give you a lot of insight, but you're going to find infomarketerzone.com extremely valuable. Inside there, we've got this all in a very step-by-step, -step, very broken down way in the 45-day digital product fast start program. Now, 45 days is only if you can only spend half an hour to an hour a day. That program can be cut in half and has been by many of our subscribers. If you can put more time into it, you can work through that as quickly or as slowly as you want. Um, in that site as well, we have all the templates, tools, resources to streamline and grow your business. We have everything from, you know, market research templates to templates on contacting, uh, um, contacting potential testimonials and reviewers. We have templates for your sales funnel. We have all kinds of templates up there for you to use. We have interviews with digital product uh, entrepreneurs, many of who are million dollar plus digital product entrepreneurs. And then we have the mentorship forum, which is very important. It's a way to get personal help and guidance. You're not left alone in this process. And we add new material from our actual practicing businesses. If you remember back in lesson one, we shared all of the different information product businesses we handle online. And so um, we give you the benefit of that by continually feeding the site with what is working and what's not. Now, for because you have been so great and because you've listened through this whole sequence, I want to give you a very special one-time only option to get a membership to Info Marketer Zone, which is normally a $27 a month commitment, and we have hundreds of members in there. I want to give you early access and bonus access uh, based on you know listening to this course and subscribing to this whole thing because I know you're going to have a better chance of succeeding and you're going to be interested enough to really want to work with us I'm going to give you access for seven dollars a month for the first year okay so that means seven dollars a month for the first year so seven dollars each month for the first year now nothing called you you sign up for the first month for seven dollars you can cancel at any time there's nothing holding you into that contract whatsoever um, so I would urge you to get over, go to this link, higherTrustMarketing.com forward slash info zone dash special. That's the only place you're ever going to find this special. We never discount this site. We never, anyone who's on our list will know that we don't do this. This is a one-time only option and it will go away uh, as soon as we get the next 50 members. We never load that site too heavy because we do have... Uh, we do want to be able to work with you guys one-on-one. -on -one. Um, so head over right now to get one of those 50 spots. The last time I looked, there was already 10 of them gone based on um, some early testing we did on this course. So we're down to 40 spots. And those will fill up, I would imagine, within the first few weeks that we launch this new course. Okay, So get over there when you can. Secure your first month at the $7 access. Uh, and then, like I said, if, if you're not completely happy with it, if there's if you don't feel it's for you, then cancel at any time and you won't be held to any other um, monthly access uh, fees. But honestly, guys, this is the only first and only time you will get something like this. We have many members that have been with us for years at the twenty seven dollar a month. Uh, and honestly, that is probably going to go up very soon, either to thirty seven or forty seven dollars a month, because we're we're adding so much more to the site, including the templates and and um, you know things that cost us money to have developed in time. So all this to say, if you're ready to move, go up and get that first month for $7 access. It's, it's really a risk-free proposition. And then work your way, start working your way through the 45-day program. Folks, within the first month, you should easily be able to start making <laughs> uh, a lot more money than $7 back. And so this should be a no-brainer for you. But um, you know, go ahead up and secure that spot because, like I said, it will be the first and only time. But I want to thank you for joining us today. I want you to head over to Higher Trust Marketing on Facebook. Find us on Facebook and then look up Higher Trust Marketing. And, you know, um, friends.
friend request us and follow us because you're going to find a lot of content we post up there that's going to be useful as well that you won't see anywhere else. Head to HireTrustMarketing.com, read our blog articles, lots of blog articles up there as well that we post weekly. And, um, you know, head over to InfoMarketerZone.com where you can join one of the Insiders Club and you'll hear stuff that you will not hear anywhere else, I guarantee you. All right, thanks for joining us today. Um, if you have questions on this or comments or any questions in the program, um, email us at jeff at HireTrustMarketing.com. It's just J-E-F-F at HireTrustMarketing.com. Didn't put it on here, but you can access. We do follow that. And uh, if you have any questions on the program, we'll be sure and answer them there. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us, guys. And uh, watch for a couple more emails from us um, if you signed up to this course. Uh, we have some other tips that we want to offer you that we didn't have time to get into this course, but they will be valuable just the same, I guarantee you. So we'll, you'll see a couple more emails from us uh, in as lessons in this sequence. But that's it for the video course. I want to thank you so much for joining us. And I hope this was a, a valuable learning experience for you. Um, and, and send us your comments over at jeff at hiretrustmarketing.com. Really love to hear them and any ideas you have for your product. All right, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for joining us, Jeff, HireTrustMarketing.com.